This trader made over $18 million in a single year from day trading the market. Along with this, he also wrote a bestseller book called Mastering the Trade. The trader we are talking about is John Carter, who has been a day trader since 1996. What's interesting about the strategies that he uses is that one indicator is nearly always utilized, this indicator is the TTM squeeze. The indicator was actually created and developed by John Carter to help him make extremely profitable trades allowing him to make over $18 million. The main function of the indicator is to allow traders to know when breakouts will occur, essentially helping traders catch large breakouts before they happen. Let's first add the indicator to the chart. Head over to the indicator search tab and search for the TTM squeeze indicator. Select the indicator made by Drekken and add it to the chart. Now let's change the indicator settings to optimize it for the strategy. Click on the indicator settings tab and navigate to the style settings. We will be changing the color of the indicator to make it easier to see. That was all that we needed to do, now let's take a look at how the indicator works. The indicator consists of two main components, the first one being the momentum histogram. This is a smooth momentum oscillator that is made to indicate the possible direction of the breakout. Whenever the lines are blue and above the zero line it indicates that there is positive momentum in the market, and whenever the lines are gray and below the zero line it indicates that there is negative momentum in the market. The second component of the indicator is the zero line which plots red or green dots. If the dots on the zero line are red it indicates that a squeeze is occurring. The TTM squeeze indicator is made to show us the volatility and momentum of the market. The TTM squeeze indicator showcases the relationship between the Bollinger Bands and the Keltner Channels. When the Bollinger Bands move inside the Keltner Channels, it is an indication that the market is experiencing a period of low volatility, and a breakout is likely to occur soon. This narrowing of the Bollinger Bands within the Keltner Channels is referred to as a squeeze. We can see that this occurs here. We can also see that the bars on the histogram grow taller when the Bollinger Bands move outside of the Keltner Channel. This indicates that momentum is entering the market. Now that we know exactly how the indicator works, let's take a look at how we can read the indicator. In this case, we can see that at this point in the price action, the Bollinger Bands were being squeezed into the Keltner Channel lines. We know this, because we can see that the bars of the histogram are very short. This signals to us that there is a period of low volatility in the market. If we take a look at the price action we will indeed see that the market wasn't volatile during this period. Here we see that the histogram has long and tall lines, meaning that the Bollinger Bands are moving outside of the Keltner Channel lines, this indicates that there is currently a high amount of volatility in the market. If we take a look at the price action, we can see that there was indeed a high amount of volatility in the market. In this case, we can see that the zero line of the TTM squeeze indicator is red, this shows us that the market is currently consolidating, if there are several red dots as we see here, it also shows us that the market is currently squeezing, meaning that there is a high chance of a breakout occurring on the next green dot. To determine the direction of the breakout along with the exact entry point, let's take a look at how the indicator can be used to enter into positions. But before that, if you are looking to backtest your own strategies, then check out Trader Edge. It's used by thousands of traders to backtest their strategies. If you sign up via the link in the description you will also receive over $470 worth of bonuses including a step-by-step -step backtesting plan, a course on building a profitable mechanical trading strategy, and 4 high-quality pre-made strategies. To get all of these free bonuses, along with a 7-day free trial, sign up via the link in the description. The most common way of using the TTM indicator to enter into a position is by first looking at the zero line. We will want for several red dots to have been plotted on the chart indicating that the market is squeezing. After this has occurred, we will need for the squeeze to be released, this occurs when a green dot is printed, showing us that the Bollinger Bands are expanding outside of the Keltner Channel lines. To determine the direction in which the trade will move we will look at the momentum oscillator, if the histogram is blue and above the zero line it indicates that bullish momentum is entering the market, however, if the histogram is gray and below the zero line it shows us that bearish momentum is entering the market. In this case, we can see that the histogram is blue. So let's enter into a long position, we will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. Now let's see how the trade plays out. 
We will be exiting the position once we see that the bullish momentum starts decreasing. If we take a look at the histogram we see that the bars are becoming shorter, this shows us that the bullish momentum is exiting the market, so let's exit the position here. If we look at the price action after exiting, it becomes clear that the bullish momentum did indeed exit the market. Even though this is the easiest and most common way of entering into a position with the TTM squeeze indicator, there are also times when the market doesn't immediately respect the squeeze. Here we can see that red dots were plotted on the zero line, along with this once the dots turned green, we see that the histogram was blue and above the zero line showing us that bullish momentum was entering into the market. Even though this might look like a good long entry, if we look at the bigger picture we see that this isn't the case. We can see that the market was previously in a large uptrend, but this uptrend was broken by the price making a lower low. This caused a strong downtrend to start, knowing this, it becomes clear that we shouldn't enter into the position because this small bullish move is most likely the price making a pullback before continuing to make lower lows. Let's take a look at how the market eventually reacts. To avoid these moves, there is actually a different method of reading the indicator that can show you the strength of the trend along with showing you when the trend might end. This method is known as TTM squeeze divergence trading, the method utilizes the divergences between the histogram and the price action to determine the future direction of the price. We can see that there is a divergence playing out here, if we draw a line on both the price action and the histogram we can see a clear bearish divergence because of the lower highs that are being made on the histogram and the higher highs that are being made on the price action. This resulted in the price action making a bearish reversal. You can also spot divergences by looking at the individual waves. As you can see here, the price is making lower lows, however the individual waves on the histogram are making higher lows. This means that a bullish divergence has occurred, if we take a look at the price action, we will indeed see that the price moved in the upwards direction after the divergence. If we look at the previous example where we shouldn't have entered into the position due to the trend reversal, we can also see that the trend reversal was actually indicated by the momentum histogram, while the price was making higher highs, the bars on the histogram were making lower highs showing us that a trend reversal is likely. Now that we know exactly how the indicator works, how it can be read, the methods that can be used with it, along with when to avoid entries, let's take a look at the full process to enter into a position. For the strategy we will be using we will add an EMA to the chart, search for the EMA indicator and select the indicator made by TradingView. After that change the length to 200 along with changing the color of the indicator to make it more visible. Firstly, we can see here that the TTM squeeze indicator printed multiple red dots on the zero line that were followed by a green dot, indicating that a squeeze occurred and is now being released. If we take a look at the histogram, we can see it's bullish because of the bars being green and the height of the bars rising. To confirm the signal, let's take a look at the 200 period EMA. We can see that the price is trading above it indicating that the overall trend is bullish. So let's now enter into the position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low, for the take profit we will be targeting a previous swing high, with a minimum risk to reward ratio of 1.5. Here we can see a different setup, we can see that there was a large downtrend playing out. If we take a look at the momentum histogram, we can see several red dots indicating that a squeeze is playing out. We can also see that there was a bearish divergence, this is because the price is making higher highs, while the histogram is making lower highs. If we take a look at the price action we can see that the price is trading below the 200 period EMA, however, it seems that the price is making a pullback as we saw in the previous example. So let's wait for the price to reject the EMA before entering into the position. As you can see the price rejected the EMA, we can also see that the bullish volume has started exiting the market so let's enter into the short position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing high. For the take profit, we will be targeting a recent swing low making sure to have at least a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. I hope this video could help you understand exactly how the TTM squeeze indicator can be used or integrated into your own strategy. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.